Hey everyone! For today's video, I wanted to address a common objection that I often hear to Bayesian reasoning, reasoning guided by Bayes' rule. This is something I talk about a lot. I've done videos on Bayes' rule and Bayesianism, and I'm not going to go into the specifics in this video on Bayes' rule and what it is, but if you want the details, you can check out my earlier videos. The objection that I wanted to talk about is basically you people who claim to be Bayesian or to be doing Bayesian reasoning, you're not really doing anything special. You're just, you're doing the same kind of intuitive, messy reasoning that everyone does, but you're like slapping a pretentious, mathy label on it in order to make your conclusions sound more authoritative or more objective. Uh, probably the most, the best recent example of this critique comes via one of my favorite web comics, Saturday Morning Breakfast Cereal by Zach Wienersmith. Here's the comic. Uh, in it, a woman is saying, I'm a strict Bayesian. And the man says, what, like you mean you use Bayesian statistics? And she says, no, I mean that sometimes I change my mind. And when I do, I feel like it's the result of math. And he says, mm, that just sounds like normal reasoning plus unwarranted confidence. And she says, I'm adjusting my priors about you, sir. So I don't want to pick specifically on this comic, especially because I like to think that Zach was poking affectionate fun at people like me, but I have heard this exact critique made not so affectionately by many people, so I thought it was worth addressing. Really, I guess there are two critiques here. First, that so-called Bayesian reasoning doesn't actually use Bayes' rule, and second, that Bayesian reasoning is no different from what everyone else does. So first off, I'll just say that Bayesian reasoning was never meant to mean plugging numbers into Bayes' rule and doing calculations every time you reason about something. That would be insane. It was always intended to mean something more like being mindful of Bayes' rule in, in some very simple ways that are nonetheless very different from the default way humans think. So for example, thinking probabilistically, having different levels of uncertainty in your beliefs, um, sometimes being 90% sure or being 60% sure, or even if you're not using the numbers, at least acknowledging uncertainty qualitatively by saying, you know, I'm pretty sure that, or I, if I had to guess, I would say such and such, but I wouldn't be surprised if that was wrong. And sometimes when I make this point, I get the objection that that's exactly what everyone does. This is nothing special. You know, of course people acknowledge uncertainty. If you were to ask someone, is it going to rain tomorrow? They're not going to say definitely one way or the other. They're going to say maybe or probably not. And it's true that there are some contexts in which people much more naturally recognize the existence of uncertainty, um, like predictions about the future, or especially predictions about areas where people don't feel like they're experts. But there are other contexts in which people are much more reluctant to acknowledge the possibility that they might be wrong, like political opinions, or just opinions about how the world works in general, you know, what's good or bad. Uh, liberals are better people than conservatives, or the tech industry is sexist, uh, more sexist than average. In my experience, when people say things like this, they rarely, you know, have corresponding levels of uncertainty. Whereas a Bayesian, being Bayesian means acknowledging uncertainty not just in domains where you feel really uncertain, but in all domains, even political opinions. So uh, that's one way in which I think trying to be Bayesian leads to very different reasoning than the norm. And the other way that I wanted to talk about is in how you react to new evidence, um, new information that bears on one of your beliefs. So the default way that people react to evidence is to ask themselves, is this consistent with what I already believe? Uh, or more accurately, can I find a way for this to be consistent with what I already believe? And the answer to that question is usually yes, yes, you can find a way. Um, a Bayesian, on the other hand, reacts to evidence by asking themselves, how likely is this evidence assuming my belief is true compared to how likely the evidence is assuming my belief is false? So to illustrate the difference, let's take the example of the tech industry is sexist or more sexist than average. So suppose you believe that and you encounter an article about a woman in a tech company who has good reason to think she was passed over for a promotion due to her gender. The typical way that someone would react to an article like that, given their prior suspicion of the tech industry, is to say, aha, I knew it, this proves what I suspected, the tech industry is sexist. A Bayesian, 
even even if they had the same prior suspicion that tech is sexist, if they saw such an article, they're more likely to go, eh, this is kind of weak evidence because, you know, it is consistent with my belief being true that tech is sexist, but if I then imagine my belief being false and say, suppose uh, it were the case that tech is actually less sexist than average, how likely would it be that I would encounter this article in a world like that? The answer to that question is actually mm, pretty likely, right? Because in any large industry, there's going to be at least a handful of cases like this, um, regardless of where the company or the industry is on the spectrum from least to most sexist. So, you know, it may well be true that tech is sexist, but this article doesn't tell us very much about whether or not that's true. So that's another way in which I think trying to be Bayesian leads to different, a different kind of reasoning than the norm. And when, I, when people say to me things like, uh, Bayesian reasoning or Bayesian updating, that's really just a fancy word for paying attention to evidence or a, a fancy word for changing your mind, right? I always want to say, no, no, it's a specific claim about how to change your mind or, or a specific claim about, you know, when and how much to change your mind. It's that, that extra step where you're asking yourself, suppose I was wrong, what would that world look like and how, you know, how consistent is the evidence with that world? That's like the crucial step, and that's the active ingredient. Because if you're not doing that, if you're just asking yourself, is this evidence consistent with what I already believe, then it's just so easy to stay entrenched in, in your pre-existing beliefs, because there's always a way to make, or almost always a way to make the evidence consistent with them. So uh, that, that extra step is what, what sometimes forces you to, to notice, oh, this evidence doesn't really support what I believe, or, or maybe it does, but only a little bit. So that's another way, in addition to recognizing uncertainty in all domains, in which Bayesian thinking, trying to be Bayesian is, I think, meaningfully different from the way that people typically reason, even if you're not, you know, literally plugging numbers into a formula all the time. Um, I suppose I should acknowledge also that it probably is the case that there are some people who call themselves Bayesian, but never do any of the things that I've been talking about. Uh, just because for any label, there's people who misuse it. So, uh, but you can just look at people's behavior. Like, do they ever acknowledge uncertainty? Do they ever say things like, uh, you know, that's actually kind of weak evidence for my belief? Or do they say things like, huh, that's actually, that evidence is surprising given what I thought was true. So I'm, I'm lowering my confidence in my belief. If they never do anything like that, but they declare themselves to be Bayesian, then uh, you have my permission to glare at them. But I don't think that should obscure the fact that there's a real thing here that's uh, meaningfully different from normal human reasoning. Uh, that's all for today's video. If you like these videos, I hope you'll consider subscribing and maybe also check out my podcast, Rationally Speaking. I'll put a link to that in the comments as well. That's all. I'll see you guys next time.